This is the 3D model of Honeycomb 2. This is actual Honeycomb 2. This has a much more refined like build. So day one of the build process, I cut out, like I cut out pieces from, I normally like to use metric, but I think you buy this by feet dimensions. So yeah, they don't have Sintra Plus in stock left. Said they only have Sintra Board. The a little harder stuff. Yep, four feet by eight feet. This wasn't called Honeycomb PC when I made it. I only thought of the name Honeycomb PC the night before my thesis defense. It could fit two 120 millimeter fans. Same at the back and it can now be adjusted up and down. So yeah, I have to put the PCIe slots lower. I am still sticking to like, we need to start going for vertical graphics cards. It's so much better, so much looks wasted. But it has to be done right. There are cases that put it like right against the left side panel. F that, no, we're gonna put it way back here. And then it is placed in a way that even if I have a gigantic air cooler here, it's not going to interfere, even if it's, this is a bigger card. I also had to make the case longer. I think I've mentioned that already. So I could fit bigger graphics cards over here. And maybe compatibility with a front 240 millimeter radiator, aka like a dual 120 could fit in front. Still not a fan of top fans because I want to maintain a positive air pressure inside a case because dust, I live in the city, it's always dusty. Now for the back, way more uniform, way better looking compared to Honeycomb original, it's a f***ing mess. You also notice that the original Honeycomb was, whew, was way taller. It's not because of the feet. So I had to grab, like the hard disk drives here in the middle between where the power supply is and where the motherboard is. Oh yeah, since I picked a more durable material, the harder Sintra, this thing's way more durable now. Like not easy to scratch at all.
Thank you.